Hello guys, in this video we want to discuss about Packet Tracer 271 activity, single area OSPF version 2 configuration, full configuration. We want to discuss about uh, OSPF, uh, OSPF uh, stands for um, Open Shortest Past First. As uh, you know, it's a link state protocol and we have two form for uh, OSPF, single area and uh, multi area in this uh, activity we want to take a look at single area area zero or backbone area all the all of the rotors in this area should um, should be activated uh, in ospf routing protocol um, we have uh, two headquarters and data services uh, zones here and objectives are uh, implement single area OSPF version 2 in both uh, point to point and broadcast multi access network. Uh, as you can see, requirements is he here, and uh, we should use process ID 10 for OSPF activation, activ activation on all routers. As you know, process ID should be same for all of the rotors in a single area, for example, area zero here. Um, first, we should go to step one, activate OSPF using network statements and inverse masks on the rotors in the headquarters network. Headquarters network is here and you should uh, configure P2, P1, 2, and 3. Go to rotor one and in configure terminal mode you can write here rotor ospf and process id should be 10 process id in, in all only is a value but it's very important for all of the rotors should uh, be activated same uh, process id and after that, uh, we should uh, configure also network and we should advertise network. In OSPF, it's very important. For example, in P2P1 rotor here, only you should advertise these networks that directly connected to this rotor. And after that, this rotor send its um, database and its uh, pro, uh, routing uh, tables to other uh, router in the in this area and it's same also for, for p2p3 and p2p2 and bc2 and whatever okay and in this situation you should advertise your network which network that directly connected to p2p1 first 10 0, 0, 12 10 0 0 0 12 and uh, and what is the subnet mask and what is a white car mask can you see here you should write here wild car mask this is for a slash 30 this is 0 0 0 3 and which area that this uh, rotor located this is area zero and finish and what about other network other network is here 10.0.0.8 and 10.0.0.0 you can write here 10.0.0 and same white card mask and also 10.0.0.0.8 Okay, and what about P2P? First, enable, and in configure terminal, you have access to activate rotor OSPF, which process ID, same also here, process, I, uh, process ID 10, and network, which network we have here? First, 10, 0, 0, 0, 
and subnet uh, Wattcar Maskey's tree. You can see here this network and this network and two network here also. This is a LAN network. Area zero. All of them is uh, located in same area. Uh, and also we have 0004. Oh, area zero, excuse me. <laughs> My bad. And also we have 192.168.1.0 and 0000255 is subnet mask, a uh, white card mask of uh, SH24 and also area zero. And we have also other. Two zero, yes. And what about P two P three? P two P three is enable conf T and IP OSPF ten. Rotor OSPF ten. And network should be ten zero zero. Four slash thirty. This is white card mask, and also area zero. And also we have eight. That's directly connected to P two P three. And also we have here. 192.168.3.0 this interface LAN interface and also finish here okay and activate OSPF by configuring the interface of the network devices in the data service network where required. Okay. Another thing, for example, you can go to data services here, for example, PC1 here, and in configure terminal mode. Under interface, for example, interface, which interface that connected to PC2 and PC3, this is We can see from here, this is G00, G004 PC, G001 for PC2, G001 for PC3, but G00 for PC1. And in this situation, you should write here G000. And under interface, you have also option to activate OSPF. How? IP OSPF what is the process ID process ID was 10 as you can see here and write also which area this is area 0 it's another option to activate other option was here also rotor OSPF 10 and after that network advertised network and uh, same also for in BC1 also other interfaces interface serial uh, zero one this one also should be activated also under this interface we should also activate it uh, we should activate uh, OSPF here serial zero this this is here serial zero one zero I can find out based on network here 
yes because network is here is 10 0 0 12 and this is this is network address and this is IP address of uh, PC1 interface and in this situation you should also activate IP OSPF for this and for this and for this interface we don't want to activate OSPF because we should configure a static route after that uh, as you know between IP provider I I internet service provider and over border router uh, we should activate a static route okay it's like a rule and what about BC2 in BC2 also enable and we have G00, G000, and G001. Both of them we should here and here we should activate IP OSPF. Should go to configure terminal and interface G000. And we can also write here because both of them should be activated and write here G001 and G00 and G001. And after that, you should write here IP OSPF uh, 10 area 0. Yes. For both of them, I have activated. And also, same process here enable conf t and interface G000 and also to one and we should write here also range and write here IP OSPF 10 area area zero is enough yes and we have configured IP OSPF uh, routing in all of the routers in this interface and in this uh, area and in this uh, network. Uh, also, we should configure router ID. Okay. Router ID on the multi case, multi access uh, network routers as follow. As you know, router ID. What is router ID? Router ID is. Uh, um, is a value and uh, is an ID that every router requires router ID to participate in uh, in OSPF domain and yeah it can be defined uh, by administrator like uh, this example uh, we should go to BC1 here and we can write here IP OSPF 10 that we have configured before that router oh and router ID should be six 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 and BC2 exit um uh, router oh what happened router ospf 10 and right here router id 5.5.5.5 and same process here exit and router ospf 10 and router ID should be 4444 and if you go for example to uh, P2 
privilege mode, you can see show IP OSPF neighbor. You have two neighbor here for BC3. We have BC2 and we have BC1. Uh, this is process ID of BC1 and it has been choosed like DR, designated router, and 5555 is uh, BDR, backup designated router, as you know, and a state is full and priority is by default is one. And why uh, BC1 uh, has been uh, chosen and has been elected as DR because it has the highest process ID. And in this situation, it has been elected as DR, as you know. And, and what is DR? DR is the router uh, in the network that uh, works like a leader. All of the routers should send uh, routing table and routing database and all of the information to BC1 and BC1 send to other routers and it's a responsibility for that. Yes. And configure OSPF so that routing updates are not sent into networks where they are not required. Okay. What is this? We should activate passive interface. Uh, why? Because we have some devices like PC1, PC2, PC3, work group server, laptop one. It doesn't have, it doesn't need to have um, advertisement from other routers because they cannot participate in layer three. And in this situation, it doesn't need to send package uh, and uh, and information and uh, routing protocol to them because they cannot recognize that. Okay, you should go to, for example, first P2P and configure terminal IP OSPF 10. IP OSPF 10, router OSPF 10, why? <laughs> why? And right here, passive interface. Which interface is passive? Both of them is passive. G000 and also G001, because both of them connected to um, laptop and PC1 and the uh, they, they don't have connection to other routers. And you should write here G000. And same also for G001. And also same process for P2P3. Yes. Enable conf T and router. OSPF 10 and passive interface G 0 0 0 and what about BC2? BC2 have also uh, what about BC2? BC2 G 0 0 0 Uh, passive interface G000 and what about BC3 and also BC3 is also G00 uh, first configure terminal and router OSPF 10 and passive interface should be G00 and this computer doesn't want to have update every other time. <laughs> uh, 
and after that. Okay, and also, what about P2P1, P2P1 connected to rotor, all of the links connected to other rotor, and also PC1 also same. Connected to rotor here, connected to rotor here, connected to other rotor here, and also connected to other rotor in internet provider, uh, internet service provider cloud. And configure BC1 with the highest OSPF interface priority so that it will always be designated rotor of the multi-access network. Okay, what is the highest priority? We should come back here and under interface G000, this interface that connected to BC2 and BC3, and we say IP OSPF priority. What is the highest? The highest is 255 here, 255. Okay. And in this situation, always it should be elected as designated road. Um, in this step, configure default road to the ISP cloud using the exit, exit uh, interface command argument. As you know, always between border rotor of the network, this is border rotor, this is the last rotor that connected to ISP, border rotor and connection between border rotor and ISP should be uh, by a static routing table and we should write default route because for example BC3, if BC3 uh, gets any network that not uh, that they that cannot recognize it it should be sent to bc1 and bc1 sent to isp and on all unknown networks should be sent to bc1 and bc1 has responsibility to send to isp cloud and in this situation you should write here exit ip wrote all the networks with all the subnet mask should be sent to this interface name. What is the interface name of BC1? BC1 is serial 011. Serial 011. Okay, and this is point-to-point -point interface. Yes, this is correct. This is point-to-point -point interface. And now we should also activate autom automatically distribute the default route to all routers in the, in the network. And in this situation, BC1 say here, IP rotor uh, rotor ospf 10 and default information originate with this command all the networks gets information about bc1 has responsibility to send default road to isp cloud and after Ah, a few seconds, all the rotors here, P, P, P2P1, P2P2, P2P3, P2 P2 and BC2 and BC3, uh, get information about BC1 has responsibility to send unknown networks and unknown address to um, ISP cloud. Okay? And you can also see, for example, BC3, if you go to BC3 and right here, show... IP road, okay, without I, activate 
default route here with this command default originate rotor bc3 got information about all of the 0000 slash 0 it means uh, default route should be sent to 10 0 1 1 this interface should send to this interface okay yes uh, this is BC1. This is interface. Yes, this is 10, 0, 1, 1. Yes. Uh, and yes, this is default route in there. For example, BC3 I, and uh, as I wanted to show. Uh, also, configure OSPF rotors so that the gigabit Ethernet interface cost will be 10 and the fast Ethernet cost will be 100. We should go to P2P1 here and we want to manipulate cost. You should write here first. Rotor OSPF 10. And right here, auto cost reference bandwidth should be 1000. Yes. You should ignore it. And also, same for P2P2. And also, same for P2P3, and same for PC1. Same for PC2, and same for BCP3, BC3, and rotor was PF10, and yes, we should activate bandwidth here and um, configure the OSPF cost value of P2P1 interface serial 011 to 15. Okay. We should go to P2B1 here. Exit. Which interface? Interface serial 0, 1, 1. And we should write here IP OSPF cost. Why we should uh, manipulate cost? Because we want to say to our rotors what is the best route to the other rotor and to uh, next hub. And the lowest cost should be in, in a link should be choose at the best path and the best route. Yes. And if you, for example, write here, what is cost show IP road, but also fast forward to best convergence. Yes, this is cost. For example, for getting 10, 0, 0, 0, 4, 10004 network this network we should use OSPF and um, cost is 697 and 
via this interface 10, 0, 0, 10 with this interface can get connection to and create connection to 10, 0, 0, 4. And this is the best road to connect and to reach out this link. Okay. And it is the, it, it, it's cost between two routers. Yes. And uh, configure the hello and dead timer values on the interface that connected P2P1 and BC1 to be, act, to, be, to be twice the default values. Also, we have other configuration here. Under interface serial between P2P1 and BC1. This is P2P1. This is connected here. This is S020. S020. And right here, and IP OSPF. Hello interval. This is hello packet that uh, sends all the routers sends every 10 seconds, but it should be 20 seconds in, the, in this configuration. And also we have dead interval. It doesn't need to write whole command here, and it should be decrease. Uh, it should be increased to 80. And same process for BC1 because BC1 and P2P1 should have same hello and dead interval uh, time, unless cannot create connection together, and it's it's very very important. And what about this interface that connected to P2P1? This is interface serial zero one zero and should write here IP OSPF hello 20 should be same and also dead should be same and click on fast forward and you can see here do show uh, what command should be here right show ip ospf interface you can see all all of the information here what is the rotor id of bc1 this is 666 and what is the state as it is dr because priority is 255 as you know, and hello packets is 10, but this is for G00 interface, but I'm looking for serial 10, hello packets is 20, yes, and other information also here. Yes. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe me and support me. Have a nice day.